also, this is what shit feels like. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in. think of no good reason to go into a camp full of heavily armed delinquents. And I hope I never have one either. I suppose they'll be rolling up the pavements about now.
save a bit for the next minute. When he woke up, he realised it had all just been a bad dream. yourself, Arthur. Nice scent. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Nowhere I could mug a bobby? Ho 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 ho! You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house? When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? Me medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, oh, and you'll need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have install most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. Elevator. I hope no one notices.
Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? But I could write a lovely poem. I'd won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. That will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? He's picked the least for one. That's cheery. Hey, little sort of guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gonna come on strong with that lead pipe. You're gonna wanna block that.
join us. Rotten apple! That ended. I've got a sinking feeling. Oh, God, this on. Oh, God. Some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelling dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. Sorry to bother.
Why are we doing this to each other? in the feet. Well, I guess I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. everything I had when they jumped me. If I crouch, I bet I could disappear into those bushes. I can't keep doing this. <sighs> it occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here. Over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? 
<laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral? Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! My suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. <laughs> district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. What a waste of time. I used to love chocolate. Percy hated it. But what did it taste like? to sleep, perchance to dream.